In my opinion, one of the most fascinating things when flying an airplane is how some flights can consistently make a smooth landing on every flight. Being able to manage all these different factors like the glide slope, flare timing, headwind, tailwind, crosswind, and speed to perfection is something that takes years of experience. Although I've never flown a plane before, I can fold myself a paper plane that can already fly passively stable with no other input or moving parts. But of course, when it comes to the landing, a paper plane can't really do anything except smack the ground if it doesn't have any manual input to level out. What we want is a paper airplane that can remain level when thrown at a steep glide slope. This makes it so when the plane increases in speed, the lift generated will outweigh the gravitational forces, causing it to level out right as it comes to the ground. So today I'll be attempting to create a paper plane that can butter landing with no moving parts or manual input during flight. For the first step, we need to design a paper plane that can remain passively stable while close to the ground. If the wings can't handle the steep glide slope, it will most likely spin out of control and smack the ground. For the first design, I tried making a standard paper plane, but with bigger wings. I was hoping the bigger wings could help slow the plane down and generate more lift when it comes close to the ground. But when I did my first test flight, it banked hard left and headed straight into the ground. This is most likely because it was too nose heavy and also the bigger wings. This made the wings much weaker, meaning when it catches a bad angle, the plane doesn't have any chance to recover. For my second attempt, the plane flew much better than the last, but it was extremely unstable when thrown at a steep glide slope. It would always smack into the ground before ever recovering. For my third plane, I tested it in a small hallway to see if it could recover from a steep throw and level out before hitting the ground. And after a few attempts, I got a perfect throw where it stayed relatively stable while also flying towards the ground. And since we finished the paper plane, it was time to move on to the landing gear. For the format, I decided to go with a standard tricycle gear placement, where there's two wheels in the back and one in the front. This will also make it much easier to land as the plane will naturally pitch up when it recovers from the steep glide slope. For the landing gear legs, I cut up a thick paper strip and folded it into a triangle. This works as a gear leg and also some extra flaps as the ankle gives the plane some more lift. After gluing on the pieces of paper, I decided to do a quick test flight and actually flew quite well. And after finishing gluing the rest of the pieces of paper, I brought in cardboard and bamboo sticks to use as the wheels. And after gluing on the bamboo sticks and wheels and securing everything with some flex tape, it was finished. Okay, I'm gonna be real, this looks really messy. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to keep it as simple as possible as if it's too heavy, then it's not gonna do that well. And it's kind of a bummer because my hot glue gun, as you can see, it's... I don't know what happened to it, don't ask. But yeah, so I did it for the first one, but now I can't really do it for these. So we're just gonna have to try it out. All right, so this is supposed to be like a fencing strip, but it kind of works out as like a nice runway. So we could basically do our testing here. That was pretty good. While doing my first few throws, it was at that point I realized how hard this was going to be. Since there are no moving parts or controls, everything from the beginning like the height, the angle, and the speed has to be perfect for the plane to perform a smooth approach. One imperfection will either cause the plane to level off too early and stall or dive straight into the ground, but after countless attempts, I finally got a perfect landing.